The canopy above the main altar in St. Peter's Basilica and the colonnade in the square are two of John Lorenzo Bernini's most famous works. However, he was also skilled in smaller artwork as well. This bust of Pope Urban VIII is not one of the artist's most famous works, but it does reflect his talent. These three busts in some way also tell the development of the challenge for John Lorenzo Bernini in confronting the difficult task of making an effigy of his holiness. Pope Urban VIII, born as Maffeo Barberini, was a big sponsor of Bernini and his work, commissioning him to create numerous works throughout Rome. He was a great patron of his, and Bernini was his artist of choice. The Pope himself told Bernini that he was made for Rome, and Rome was made for Bernini. The uniqueness of the relationship benefited both parties, as Pope Urban was able to share the artist's work, and Bernini had the funding and support needed to perform his craft. It was in the Palazzo Barberini, the home of the Barberini family, that Bernini was able to start getting his work more widely noticed. And this is where he started working. He took over the management of St. Peter's Basilica while he was still young, after the death of Maderno in 1629. And in fact, he immediately became a kind of director of what would be not only a monumental and noble city residence, but a kind of its own court royalty, that is Palazzo Barberini. Thanks to the mutually beneficial relationship between the Pope and the artist, Bernini's name has remained famous throughout centuries, and Pope Urban VIII's papacy is forever memorialized in bronze. Good news from Rome Reports. This month, we reached 300,000 subscribers on our English YouTube channel. Thank you so much. If you are still not subscribed, you can do so by hitting the red button below.